Hi, this is Gary Boss from Audio Technica here with Pro Audio Land. We're doing some segments on uh, microphones and microphone technology. In this one, we're going to talk about the difference between a dynamic microphone, which I have here in my left hand, that would be stage left, and uh, the condenser microphone here we have an example of right here. Now these guys are kind of naked. They don't have the tops on so we can get an idea of the differences in them. So. You know, a lot of times you're kind of posed the question like, wow, do I use a condenser mic for this or a dynamic microphone? Um, I'm going to kind of maybe uncover some of the reasons you would use one over another. Uh, first of all, dynamic microphones like this guy, what, do they got, what are they good for? Well, they're durable as all get out. Uh, because of the nature of the design, it's a very rugged, robust design. Uh, the diaphragm material is a little thicker and more robust. Uh, they really handle ridiculous amounts of sound pressure level, or SPL. In fact, so much so that we don't even have the capability of testing max SPL on the dynamic microphone. So they'll just pretty much handle whatever you, whatever you throw at them. Um, but the problem is, because of that diaphragm material is so thick and heavy, it tends to respond a little slower, so it's heavier, it's more mass, so it's, it's kind of harder to move. Um, also, it's because it doesn't have an amplifier in the microphone itself, they tend to be a little less sensitive, so they don't have as much output as a condenser microphone. So keep that in mind, and then we're going to get into applications. Now on a condenser microphone, it's quite the opposite. We have this very, very thin film that we've kind of gold deposited, and it floats above this back plate. And it's very, very light, so it's very easy to move with just subtle breaths. Um, so that makes it uh, very sensitive. It also uh, responds very quickly because it's much lighter than a dynamic. So transients, you know, things like cymbals and whatnot will respond much, much more quickly on a condenser microphone. So kind of getting ahead of myself there, typically on, on live stages, you know, probably 90% of the microphones you see will be dynamic microphones. Typically in studios, what you're going to find are the condenser microphones. So dynamics, high SPL we talked about. Well, what has high SPL? Horns, drums, snare drum, kick drum, toms, things of that nature. Uh, so that makes a really good application for the dynamic microphone. Condenser microphone, what, what would be real subtle? Maybe vocals, if you want to catch that air in the studio, you know, a lot of breathy air on the vocal side. Maybe you have something like a finger picking, an acoustic guitar that you want the full frequency response. Uh, maybe overheads on drums would be a good application where you need to pick up the, the stick on the cymbal and the real fast transients. So that kind of gives you a little bit of a difference between a dynamic and a condenser. Think super robust, rugged, high SPL, Think really delicate, lots of high end, lots of transients. Maybe they don't take as much SPL, but if you if you kind of look at the specs, you're going to be surprised. A lot of these mics will take up to 140, 150 dB. But anyways, that should give you a nice little primer on uh, dynamics versus condensers.